In today's video, we're going to be painting up doors from the Deep Cuts WizKids range. Okay, so the first thing you can actually do with these doors is you can take them apart so you can separate the actual door piece from the archway. So what we want to do is we want to do that. So I've just done one here that I've done with the second door. So you can see if it will focus. Um, and what we're going to use here is Vallejo Khaki. And we're going to use that to paint up one of the door frames. So I'm actually going to be doing uh, two different styles of doors. I'm going to be making one sort of... Uh, dark dungeon cave door that's sort of not well kept and then the other one I'll be doing is sort of a nice uh, castle door with nice sort of fresh stone and stuff like that so just starting off with our khaki which we're going to be using on our dark dungeon door so I want to make it sort of like it's a rough underground cavern door that's had not much care taken for it and then with the second one we're going to start off by basing that with a castle grey. So we want to just do the exact same as we did with the last one. Just grab a nice big brush and really start covering it all up with a castle grey. And I'm just going to avoid just a little bit of the, the goblin head that's carved into the top of this as a, sort of like a uh, ornate sort of piece on the door. So just covering the whole thing up with the castle grey. So now coming back to our dungeon door, we're going to come in with a desert yellow. And what we're going to do with the desert yellow is we're going to paint up just a couple of the stones on this archway in the desert yellow colour to separate it out from the khaki colour we've already placed on it to give it some uh, visual interest uh, rather than just having it all the one colour. But by all means, you could make it all just this khaki colour and then skip this step entirely if you just want something nice and quick. But I want to uh, add a bit more detail to it, um, just making it look that little bit better when we see it on the table, as opposed to uh, just having it all painted one colour as quick as possible. But by all means, if you want to go for quickness, then you can skip this step. But so I'm, all I'm doing is just picking out some at random here, uh, and also don't forget of the floor as well, of the archway. Don't forget to pick out a couple of those. So while that one's waiting to dry, we're going to do the exact same thing with our castle archway. So from now on, I think I'll just be calling one the, the dungeon uh, dungeon door and the other one the castle door, like archway. So now I'm just picking out here with the uniform grey, exactly like I did with the ye desert yellow on our dungeon door. And just picking out some of the stones at random. Don't be afraid to make it as random as you can. I, I have quite a bad habit of making things look sort of too uniform so that's why I'm doubling up two here adjoining because I'd have a bad habit of going one then one then one. It, it just wouldn't look right. So make sure you can pick them out as random as you can. Then once you have all your ones that you want picked out we're got, what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with a dry brush and we're going to dry brush the whole lot um, all the exact same colour. So just going in pretty lightly to start off with and then slowly building up that paint as we go along with our dry brush, giving it that a uh, little bit worn look, but still uh, the dry brush will tie all the paint jobs together rather than having our two grey stand out so much from one another. So that's the idea of the dry brush here, as well as just adding in a bit more texture to all our raised surfaces as well. So now with our dungeon door, we're going to do the exact same thing with dry brushing, except for this time I'm going to use skeleton bone instead of the ash grey for our dungeon door. And this is a nice uh, light colour between the two colours we already have on there, so it'll tie them together quite nicely as well. I'm going for more of sort of like a earthy, more maybe even sandstone sort of style of uh, stonework on this one, rather than making a uh, completely brand new castle grey like the other one. And now we have those two archways done. What we're going to do with both of them now is we're going to come in with a mummy robes and this is going to be our extreme highlight over top of uh, both of them. So th this includes the uh, castle dungeon we're doing as well. We're going to also be using this uh, mummy robes as well. It's just sort of just an off-white colour. And I just want to add a, a few more extreme highlights on there, just adding a lot more definition than if we were just using the one highlight. But this, is, this step, of course, is totally up to you. 
uh, if you want to do this. And then, of course, don't forget to move on with our other castle door. So this is our dungeon door we're doing right here. And then grabbing the mummy robes again, we want to place that on our castle door. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the actual doors in themselves. And for this we're going to be using oak brown, and we're going to start off with a base colour of oak brown for both of the doors. So I'm going to be making one sort of a beat up old grungy door, and another one which is going to be a nice fresh new castle door. Because I want, as I said, I want uh, one of them to look sort of like a new castle dunge or dungeon that has a nice new sort of look to it and then the other one's going to be an old sort of abandoned looking one that you'll find deep in a cavern somewhere. Alright so now we just pick one of the doors and this one here is going to be our uh, new style door and I'm going to give this a dry brushing, just a quick dry brushing over with a monster brown. And this is just a slightly lighter brown than the, our oak brown we already have on there so just giving that quick passes here and don't forget to do both sides of course. Um, to give it up some highlights on that door. Okay, so now the one that's going to be our dungeon door, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it with ash grey. As I find that when uh, dungeon, oh not dungeon door, when wood in general sort of gets a bit old, it sort of goes a real greyish colour and it's really going to add to that sort of ancient uh, feel of a dungeon. So just dry brushing it over now with uh, our ash grey and since we're keeping our other dungeon door nice and new is going to be really good at separating these two out. Now we'll come back to our castle door and this time we're going to give our last final highlight with uh, desert yellow and this is just a super light brown um, that we want to place here on dry brushing which is going to really bring out those details but don't worry too much if it's a little too yellow because we'll also be giving the door a wash a little bit later on it's really going to bring those colors down but it's going to give off uh, some nice variation in our wood colors. Okay so once we have that done what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with a rough iron. Now I'm going to use this on both of the doors um, for the dungeon door and our castle door that we're doing up and we're going to use this rough iron which is a really nice uh, dark metallic color and I think it'll really pop off with the uh, um, browns that we have on our doors um, and it's going to um, when we age it up with our dungeon door as well it's going to look a lot more old and then when we're tidying it up with our castle door it's going to look um, quite nice and new so I think it's a good color to pick between but of course if you want to go for just an order in metal go right ahead but I want to switch up the colors a little bit from what I would usually do and test out some other techniques. So once we have all our rough iron all dried up and placed on what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with a gun metal and I'm just going to pick out these big sort of like uh, rivets on these doors here just by placing just a small dot on each try not to go too much with it and I also want to use our color that we're placing here on our door handle as well to separate it out and really make it pop against that rough iron that we have placed on there and of course don't forget to do both doors these colors Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting our goblin uh, piece that is on here. So I'm going to be using Brassy Brass from Vallejo to do this. So our nice goblin head sort of carving or uh, piece. I'm, I'm not, not quite sure what you'd call this, but I'm going to be this nice sort of door ornament. I'm going to be painting it up in a brassy uh, color and really give it that pop a color that these doors will do. I'll also be doing this on both doors as well, so this door and the dungeon door as well. So don't forget to do that while you're at it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to washing these archways and I'm going to be using known oil. Now I'm going to be washing both the archways with known oil. So that's our dungeon door archway and our castle door archway. So you want to just grab I'm grabbing a bit bigger brush so I can cover a lot more area with this as well to really speed up the process a bit and that known oil is just going to bring out all those nice little dents and dings and stuff that the stone has and all the texture of the surfaces so it's really going to add a lot of nice interest to the piece. 
Now we'll be moving on to our door pieces ourselves and we'll be doing the exact same as we are with the archways. We're going to be using this time Agrax Earthshade to go over both uh, doorways and we're going to cover the whole thing of this as well as the metallics that we have on here as well just giving the whole lot a dark coat and you can see it's really bringing out all that nice uh, wood grain and stuff on there with the wash and it's really seeping into those recesses and it's also giving off quite a nice uh, tarnished effect I guess on the uh, bits of metal as well okay so what I've done now is I've grabbed our dungeon door that has our ash grey highlight on it and what we're going to do now is I'm going to come in with a green tone which is another wash and I'm going to be just applying this to certain places on this door and it's going to act as sort of like mold and grime that's really seeped in there because this is a, a dark dungeon door that's been sitting there for a long time and moisture's gotten to it and it's really just adding to this rotting wood that's on here so just applying it sort of where I feel that uh, dirt and grime and that would naturally sort of build up uh, maybe a little bit hard to see on camera um, but I will get some better shots of it and stuff for the final uh, picture as well as uh, you might want to apply this just in a couple of layers I've found out so that's what I've done is I've just placed a couple of layers on at a time to really build up that green because it's quite a, a subtle color on here so now what we're going to do is with our castle archway we're going to be painting some brassy brass we're going to actually be dry brushing um, some brassy brass back over top of our goblin uh, thing ornament we have placed on here and I'm just going to be doing this on our castle door and leaving it on our dungeon door and then now we're going to come back to our castle door now this is just going to be the castle door I'm going to come back now with gun metal and we're going to go back over those uh, rivets and stuff we placed in the gun metal originally as well as our door handle so we're just going to place a nice little layer back on top which is going to be a nice highlight to indicate that it's nice shining uh, metal pieces on here and it's really just going to pop back out with those highlights on it and now coming back to our dungeon door archway what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the exact same that we did with our door which is coming in with our green tone wash and we're going to be placing some in places on the archway to show that that grime is also building up all over and in between the stones and stuff so you place this wherever you feel fit I'm placing it just sort of in corners and stuff like that make it look like the moss is really growing on this uh, dungeon door so th this part's totally up to you uh, where you want to place it and stuff like that that we have completed our doors from WizKids and you can see that uh, the this dungeon door has come out really nicely just by adding in those uh, mossy effects and our dried up old wood and uh, just adding in those little bits of color has also brought out even like this you can see the the blue stones on here and just highlighting those little pieces with these two same doors you can easily change them up to be one's a brand new door and one's an old dark dungeon door so just some nice easy ways to vary up the techniques and stuff like that but with that I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next video